What's good, everyone? Welcome back, sports, with the one and only DeAndre Smith, 11 and one in the building. How you feeling? Feeling great. How you doing? All right. I'm not even gonna ask you about training camp because I know you just had a unanimous decision win mm -hmm. down there um, in Atlanta. Um, when did you find out about this fight? Um, I found out, actually found out about this fight before the last fight. So um, okay, you know. Said, so you said, busy. okay, I'm going to go ahead and take this fight in might between. Well, might as well, you know, um, staying busy, staying active. I said I wanted to get about three or four more this year, so it's right in there, right in there anyway. What, why, why the heavy calendar for this year? You trying to turn um, the corner and? That and, you know, of course, we're getting up in age, so we don't have no time to waste. You know, so just turned 30 in May. Yeah. So, you know, we're trying to press the gas, though, and doing it the right way. All right, absolutely. You going in there with a tough opposition. You know, you have more experience than your hot tucker. You know what I'm saying? You're 11-1. When you got this fight, what automatically came to your mind, you know, as far as not giving away your secret or whatever, but what came to mind when, you, when your hot tucker came across your timeline? I mean, I don't look at him no differently. This is just another fight. I'm going to beat that boy, so here's what it is. I'm just asking because, you know, he came down there twice to Atlanta Spark Tank. Mm -hmm. Um... Not Tank, um, yeah. Lil B. Lil B, uh -huh. Lil B. Uh -huh. And um, he sparred him, I think, twice. So, did you hear anything about that? Um, did anybody give you no intel on that? <laughs> nah, nah. I mean, of course, I heard they, you know, they got their work in, but yeah. you know, everybody keep working the gym, you know. But um, I was already confident in taking the fight anyway. So I know I, you know, I have the average. The, the, um, <clears throat> I know I'd be able to have the skill set in the. So what I heard from, you know, them down there in Decatur, they say you was here. <laughs> you, yeah, know Decatur, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm You was here for business. Yeah. Number you know? Business trip on man. You know, trying to get this win and going back to that, you know. That's what's up, man. So right here in your boxing career, you know, representing Atlanta, do you feel needed pressure to be that standout down there? I mean, we had a spark going when it came to boxing. For you know, we had Javante come down there twice, you know. But for Atlanta boxers, do you feel fighting on this stage, you have a little bit of added pressure on you? Um, no, not really. Um, <clears throat> I just look at it from a veteran standpoint. I've been doing this since I was 12 years old, so okay. You know, it's nothing to me. It's just another fight, regardless of the level, regardless of where it's at. Man, it's just another fight to me. So, That's what's up. No pressure at all. I'm just ready to put on the show, man. And, this Very confident. Let me ask you, what, what gym you train out of, man? I'm training artillery boxing gym. It's like College Springs in Georgia. Yeah. It's kind of on the outskirts of Atlanta, like all the way out there by six lanes. Oh, yeah, it's Springs. out there. Yeah, it's I out didn't there. even know till now, man. Yeah, College it's Springs. There. It's out there, man. Who's your coaches? Adrian Russell and my father in the Gay Friday. I didn't know your father trained you, man. Yeah, as much father. as I talk about um, Black Father and Son Tannins, never, never knew that. Yeah, well. I'm trying to see. He was my, you know, well, he's always been my um, <clears throat> biggest fan, biggest critic. And uh, as a young boy, you know, he was always like my, my number one coach. Yeah. But you know, we um, when I took time off, took a little time off, five years, <clears throat> kind of had, you know, dispersed a little. So I'm, I'm really getting him back into it. So okay. This would be his probably his second fight back working my corner since I started back fighting. So. That's what's up, man. You know, um, how how you been enjoying things up here in New York, man? Uh, we just landed, but um, New York is one of my other little spots. I like to come to. I've been here plenty of times. So. All right, so it's I'm like your second home, there. okay? Yeah, yeah, second or third. Miami, my second. But um, this spot, this definitely my third home. So all from New York. That's what's up, man. Tell me about the state of boxing in Georgia, so to speak. What do you think we need down there to take it to the next level? Well, we got the fighters, we got the talent, we have the coaches. Um, some small things, man. We need, we need our commissioners, we need our, you know, all the teams, all the coaches, all the fighters just to come together, man. You go to any other states, you go to Ohio, man, you go to New York, they all riding together. It's no rivalry. You know, they all pushing each other. We all just need to come together and push each other a little more and support each other, man. I think we're going we gonna to be all right in the long run. Y'all hear that a lot, man. True words spoken. I hear a lot about y'all supporting each other down there because it, it, it's boxers in there, eh? you know what I'm saying? It's boxing in Georgia, a lot of them, but um, I think I get the same answer. You know, it'd be good to y'all help one another, however that may be. But anyway, it's fight week, man. Good good to see you for the first time. People was telling me, I said, I have no idea what Jimmy trained out of, you know what I'm saying? Um, and it's good to see you up here. 
Yeah, you know, it. I'll definitely be snapping think, some shots think, on fight I think, night. I think we met um we met through Mike, Mike Seals. I know that's all I think about we met through Mike Seals at um <clears throat> Philippe's gym. Damn was, yeah, 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 you know, that Carlos, was, yeah. Cause you didn't have this on either. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I had dreads, so I just cut yeah, my. Just cut yeah, my dreads, yeah, yeah. So yeah, that was my family, man. So Mike, Mike told me he'd be in the tennis, man. So oh, Mike, yeah, okay, Mike, Mike coming up. All right, yeah, Mike Seals, man. So shout, shout out, out to Philippe Boxing, man. Shout out to Philippe. Shout Mike out to Carlos Seals, Jackson. yeah, Mike Carlos, Seals, man. Yeah, thank y'all, man. Thank y'all. Any words you want to say, to your fans out there, man? Hey, stay tuned, man. We're going hard. Saturday night, tune in. ESPN, eight o'clock. Man, there it is, man. DeAndre in the building, 11-1 on fight week here at NYC. Thank you, man. Thank you.